So there is something that I really want to show you and it has everything to do with um, water brushes. I have had this Derwent water brush for over a year now and I've had terrible results with it. So terrible that I thought, well, maybe water brushes are just not for me because on the internet I see beautiful, beautiful paintings. But I just couldn't do it. And then a while ago I stumbled upon this Karen Dash set of brushes. There are actually three in them. And because this has a slightly different way of working with the water that is inside and well I just thought let's give it a try and miraculously my painting improved very much. Now the question is is this Carandash brush so much better than a Derwent or did I hit did I just need a little bit more practice and it happened to be with the Carandash pencil that I reached that point where after practicing things start to work out for you. So we're going to uh, test it now with my new Sennelier watercolor set. Wonderful! First thing that we're going to do, this is a jar of water, is to uh, put in water. The Derwent brush already has water. And you hold it and uh, under the kraan. I want to say under the kraan. That's Dutch for where the water comes from. In the sink. Goodness, I don't know the word. Anyhow, this is a different uh, strategy. This is like, you know, when you get an injection. You can pull this and you suck the water in. So we're going to do that now. And then when I keep it like this, I can push everything up. And then I do it again. Pull again. Now I am... Uh, there is a lot of water in here. So. The water tap point. I can't. Let's try this page from Painterly Days. And here's my Sennelier set. This was originally a set of 12 colors. But I took out a piece and then I could put in more pens. I will show you in a different, in another video. So, now all you need with, that's the fun with these water brushes. This is what you need. Paper, brush, paint. Because the, way, the water is already in, inside the pen and a tissue. So, now let's see if the Carandash is really so much better than the Derwent. There is one thing about the Carandash that I really find much better than on the Derwent. And that has everything to do with... Um, in, in the Derwent brush, after a while, the water that is in your brush becomes colored by the paint that is here in the brush, in the hairs. So you get dirty water. That is not very handy. So let's first add a touch of water here. It's already green. Why is that? Let's clean it. Now it looks like it is really clean. Let's try again. Oh, 
looks better but still a little green so I'm now adding water and let's pick up a little bit of paint let's do this one this one is called uh, raw sienna so unfortunately the water already dried a little bit so I'm going to add more water squeezing the pen here here on the top and then adding more water let's pick another color like a warm sepia that is um, this one I believe just a touch of it cleansing it again, cleaning and let's pick this this is light yellow ochre just a touch of it now as you can see pretty large drops of water come from this water brush, the Derwent one Let's pick a touch of, uh, oh, it's still dirty. I believe this is burnt umber. So let's clean it and now I will go do exactly the same with the Carandash brush. Now every time I squeeze a little bit of water comes out but that means that the reservoir will suck in air and in this Derwent pencil uh, brush the, the air will be sucked in through the hairs so the color that is in the hairs will also be sucked in to the water reservoir so eventually your water will get dirty that's not so good now the Carandash brush doesn't have that problem because there is a small hole somewhere he oh somewhere here and that is where this brush sucks its breath, uh, its air, so no uh, paint will enter the water reservoir. Now let's do another. Let's pick this one. I'm pushing a little bit and there's water coming from the brush already you need to be careful because there is water in the brush without you knowing it now let's do exactly the same we started, where did we start with this one? right, raw sienna pushing a little bit, picking up some paint
So now let's pick the darker one. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing over here. And, uh, this is the warm sepia. Putting it here and there. Now I think you can already see that this is really working differently. How in the world is that possible? I think there is only, can only be one explanation. And I've been taking a good look at the hairs, at the fiber of this brush. And it looks identical to the Derwin brush, but it feels softer. When you touch it, it feels softer. So maybe the secret is in this in what this is made of let's pick a touch of yellow ochre here just a touch and then the um, what was this burnt sienna I've always had uh, artists, heard artists say, if you need to, um, you know, if you don't have much money and you have to, uh, you can't, you can't buy both the best paper, the best brushes and the best paint, then they say that uh, you should never save your money, save money on uh, on the paper. So keep the, take the best possible paper and then the best possible brush and then the best possible paint. Oh, look, I am... Uh, that was very dangerous what I was doing. I knew that. I want to take off a little bit of color because there's so much paint here and it is quite strange because I do not feel that I used a lot more paint than with the on the other one but for some reason it works so much better Okay, let's do a leaf. I'm very curious about a green leaf. Let's do this over here. Cleaning the brush. Squeezing a little bit. And then I'm wetting the paper. I don't think you can see it, but I can see that there is moist coming from the brush. So. Just a touch of color and let's pick a green. The phthalo green light. Why not? Very bright green. Let's put it here and there. Now, I haven't only had problems in the Painterly Days book with this the Derwent brush, but I've had problems on any type of paper. It was, just wasn't working for me. But this brush is doing so much better. Now I want to tone things down a little bit. Oh dear, I am... Uh, let's do this one. This one is called Indian Yellow. I squeeze a little bit so the brush becomes a little bit wet. Let's put that here. Uh, 
I think there's also the, the amount of water that comes from this current dash pencil or brushes. For some reason I understand it better. And let's pick this one, the light yellow ochre, to tone things down a little bit more. So, now let's try the same leaf, but then with the Derwen brush. So I'm going to do this one, cleaning the brush. Put some, look, it's still dirty, so it is if more, it seems more difficult to clean the brush of the Derwent and the other one, the Karandash, it's no problem at all. Now there is a bit of water coming from the brush, but it feels like the brush is dry. But because the water is stained already, you can see that I am putting water on it. So let's start with the phthalo green light. Look, now you tell me, I am doing exactly the same the distribution of the water is so different and so inconsistent to my hand at least I just don't know how to how to control the amount of water that comes from this Derwent brush Let's try to cleanse it, but that's difficult. So let's pick the um, Indian yellow. And let's put that in. Let's put in that touch of light yellow ochre. Now let's see if I can uh, clean up this area. So I, this is my uh, Karandash brush. Adding a touch of water and then trying to get rid of the paint that... Uh, the paint that escaped from the acorn. So 
So that looks much better already. This looks a bit uh, not so good. Now the two leaves look quite similar, but painting with the Derwent brush was a lot more hassle. This was more easy. The Carandash is so much easier, at least for my hand. Now I think it's quite clear this acorn looks like crap. <laughs> this looks much better, although I I wouldn't leave it like this, I would add more tones, but look at the difference. So by using them together now it is for me completely clear that the Carandash brush is so much better it is better the the you can the amount of water that comes out of it is easier to handle and uh, the water reservoir doesn't get dirty with the paint so to me this is the winner oh Carandash is the absolute winner so there's another water brush. Well, there are lots of water brushes. They say that the Pentel brush is very, very good also. So, um, well, maybe in the future I will have the opportunity of testing that one too. But so far, Carandash is the winner. Bye-bye.